Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our service today. Most of you will know me, but if you're joining us for the first time, my name's Sandra, and I'm one of the lay worship leaders here at Camford. Well, I say here at Camford, but I'm at home, but at Camford Magna Church. This is our final week on how to pray based on Pete Gregg's book and also the prayer course. I don't know about you, but I feel we have faced some real challenges over the past six weeks as we've looked at that subject of prayer in greater depth. I really enjoyed the evening session on unanswered prayer. But one of the most refreshing things I've found whilst reading the book and watching the videos is Pete's honesty. He admits to his failures and also when he's got things wrong and he admits that even after many years of leading the 24-7 prayer movement, he doesn't have all the answers. We've been using the acronym P-R-A-Y, PRAY, to help us and this week we're thinking about how we yield or say yes to God. Chris is unpacking that for us in the context of spiritual warfare. Kerry is reading our lesson from Acts 8, verses 9 to 25. Eric and Margaret are leading us in our intercessions, and Bear is presiding at communion. So, as we come before God today, let's just clear the decks. I don't know about you, but I know that I've let the Lord down by saying or doing the wrong thing, or by neglecting to do something he's prompted me to do. Maybe like me, you've been a bit short-tempered this week. After all, we're still in lockdown and every time someone from the government speaks, then the possibility of lockdown being relaxed before Christmas looks more uncertain. And then, after a long, long spell of nice weather, it's cold and it's wet and winter is on its way. In a moment of silence... Let the Holy Spirit bring to mind anything he wants you to say sorry for. Let's join together in the confession and after I say the bidding, Father forgive us, please respond with, save us and help us. God our Father, we come to you in sorrow for our sins, for turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For behaving just as we wish without thinking of you. Father, forgive us, save us and help us for failing you by what we do and think and say. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptations in the world about us. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For living as if we were ashamed to belong to your Son, Father, forgive us, save us and help us. So may God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So having confessed our shortcomings and been forgiven, we now come to worship God in song before Carey brings us the reading. 